Do you know that uh, Jesse Waters is probably en fuego right now? Do you know why, Matt? Do you know why Jesse Waters is probably highly agitated? Agitated? Agitated. Why would Jesse Waters be agitated? Because yesterday it was announced that the, um, the, that a very nice lady who has a huge racist background, uh, Laura Ingram, is going to be moving to 10 p.m. on Fox News, which means that the five will be moving back down to 5 p.m., where it belongs, Oof. the five. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so uh, Jesse Waters, his great turn at the helm of the five. Did not do anything for that ship. He's returned to Dayside, as we say in the biz. But he's got to take issue with, um, oddly enough, someone who's not white. I think that Ms. Hill has a point when she says, for example, you look at the Trump administration trying to undo consent decrees with the police departments to try to improve relations between the police and poor black communities. Hmm. Would you say, oh, well, I can, or after Charlottesville, when he says both sides have something, have, have a responsibility here. Pause it for one second. We should say that an ESPN host, Jamel Hill, tweeted that Trump was a white supremacist who surrounds himself with the same. And, well, I mean, it's pretty hard to argue against that, I guess. I mean. It's descriptive. It's somewhat descriptive, but okay. But, you know, it's an opinion. There's no way to sort of completely test that except for to listen to what the people around him and he says. But go ahead. Let's hear what uh, Jesse Waters says. What she's trying to say at all? No. No. Um, I, actually, we're getting some breaking news. It looks like MSNBC has just offered Jamil a job. <laughs> she has the 9 o'clock hour. No. Um, listen, there's a huge double center. If a white anchor at ESPN yeah. had said that President Obama was a Black Panther and surrounded himself with racists, that person would be terminated in 24 hours. Pause it's it for one second. Horrible. There were people on Fox who literally said Barack Obama is a racist. I mean... I don't know if every single host on every single show said that, but at least multiple hosts on multiple shows. In fact, the president of the United States, the supposed non-racist, made an entire political career out of saying that Barack Obama wasn't even an, an American. Okay. It's also a horrible business decision because guess who watches ESPN? Men. Guess who else watches them? White men. I think Trump won 63% of the white male vote. So she's alienating her core base. That'd be like someone on BET out there proclaiming that Obama's birth certificate was forged. It's just an asinine business decision. <laughs> it makes that. no sense to okay. insult your audience you like that. that. Jesse Waters, ladies and gentlemen. There's a weird way they laugh at his jokes as if it's sort of the message you're sending is, oh, this guy's an idiot. We don't really take what he's saying seriously. I, Whenever but I watch this program for any period of time, it does seem like the rest of them loathe him. Loathe him. And also, I think you got to be careful about those Botox shots above the, the top lip. I don't know why you would do that at his age. <laughs> Let's go to the uh, IMs. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.